circle theorems, alternate segment theorem. I've explained, we label this circle and lines as this. This is point P. This point where we meet the circle is Q. And this point we can call it R. This is the center of the circle. Then we can call this point S and T. Now this alternate segment theorem saying this tangent here make the angle with this chord P sorry Q T. So this is the angle we're talking about. So this is the chord and the tangent at a point. So we're talking about this angle. So we call it the angle P Q T. Now this angle is equal to the so this is the word angle there. Now there to the circle equal any angle subtended by the chord and the alternate segment. So now this chord, wherever is subtended the angle on the circle here, so this is one segment. Now the alternate segments, the other two are them, this one and this one. Now so the angles between them here which is T S Q, or we can call it Q S T, is equal to this angle here. So it's equal to the angle Q S T. So we choose a chord. The angle of this chord and the tangent is going to be the same. This chord subtend angle on the circle anywhere. Now that was for this side. We can also explain for the other side. On this side, RQ tangent, because with the radius, this is the diameter here, so this angle is 90 degrees. So now our Q S is going to be the chord. So we're talking about R Q S. So the angle R Q S. So this is the segment we're talking about. Then the alternate segment is going to be these two. Now the angle between them is going to be equal to this angle. And we know that in a semicircle, the angle opposite to the diameter is always 90 degrees. So, so therefore, STQ or QTS So this angle here is going to be equal to wherever this code QS have angle on that side of the circle. For this angle here, so wherever this QT subtend the angle on the circle, this side anywhere, going to be equal to this. Now we do an example. Now we got this angle between the tangent here AT and the chord PT. So this angle is 58 degrees. Now this chord PT, wherever this subtend the angle is going to be equal to this angle here. So this angle there is 58 degrees. So that's the alternate segment theorem be using. So you can say the angle 
P Q T equal to 58. And this is the alternate segment theorem. Alternate segment theorem. Then we are told here the triangle PQT is a isosceles triangle. So that means telling us the angle at P is going to be equal to the angle at T because these two sides are equal. So these two angles are equal. And because that's 58, so when you do 180 minus 58, so that's 122. So these two, both angles, 122, obviously then you divide. So that will give you 61. So this angle here, all of it, is 61. Then, we got more information. This angle between the radius and tangent is 90. So therefore, we can find this little angle. So 58 plus 32. So this is 32 there. is equal to 90. So therefore this bit angle is 32, but then the total is 61. So we can work out this angle there. So that angle there, 61 minus 32, is going to be 29. So, so this answer here, all Two angle O T Q is twenty nine degrees. Now to give all these reasons, you have to do step by step. So in the answer, you have to explain we are using the alternate segment theorem. Then we are using the isosceles triangle properties. Then you're using the tangent and the radius, the angle between them property. Then we work on this angle. So there's three steps to explain. Alternate segment theorem, isosceles triangle, and the angle between radius and the tangent.